Hello guys, today I'm going to give you a simple explanation how to work out with your resistance bands. Some people make the mistake to think that working out with uh, resistance bands is the same as working out with cables at the gym. And it's not the same. When you're working out with cables, you are having that resistance 100% of the time. And when you're working out with cables, you don't have. So that's why we will talk about three angles that we use when we work out uh, using the resistance bands. Right? So first, I'm going to explain how you should adjust your workout for biceps curl, for example. You put your feet together there, and then you check the resistance on both sides. So this side here is too loose, I move a little bit to the side, and then I feel that I have the same resistance on both sides. That's the most important part, right? You don't want to work out more on one arm than the other. Now that you have this set up, let's think about the angles. Uh, I'm going to turn here on my side to show you the angles. We have the first angle that is from the zero to approximately 30, 40 degrees. So I have my elbows tied close to my ribs and then I have the first angle here, right? The second angle is from the 30, 40 degrees to around 80, 90 degrees here. And we also have the third angle that is from the 89 degrees to 130 degrees. So that would be your final position for your biceps curl. Some people come all the way here. When you're here, you're just resting, you're not having any resistance, you're not working out on your biceps, right? So around 130 degrees is the angle that you want when you are working out with your biceps. Let's talk about the resistance on the three angles, right? When you start working your biceps curl, you want to start working out your third angle. So remember, the third angle is that 50 last angles on the 130 degrees. So I have the third degree, I have the around 90, 80, 90 degree, and I have the third angle there. The third angle, I have the same resistance all the time. Think. If I am here on this position, I don't have the same resistance. It's too easy and that's what I'm trying to avoid. So I wanted the same resistance on the, for the third angle, the final third angle. So how to work out the second angle? You're going to put your feet wider apart and then you will see that it's too hard to go to the third degree and that's what you want. You're gonna have the second degree as the resistance, right? You, if you let it go all the way there, you will see that the first degree is too easy and the third degree is too hard. So that's what you want. You wanna have that resistance on the second degree. If you wanna work on your first degree, then you're gonna put your feet even wider apart and then you have that hard resistance. You will see that it's hard, too hard for the second and even too hard for the third. So that's what you want. You want to have that first angle very hard and that you work out your three angles. But remember, you need to do, do a few repetitions on each angle. Let's pretend I'm going to start on my third angle here. I'm going to do 10 repetitions 15 repetitions, it depends on your, your resistance, and then I'm going to do, without stopping, I'm going to do the second, and then I'm going to do the final exercise, the first angle, until I fail, okay? So, that's it, thank you for your time, and see you next.